this is my ticket to safety. I'm going to keep this forever. Uh, that little piece of paper was, saved my life. A small slip of paper that holds so much meaning for backcountry hiker Bernard Cloutier. A message dropped to him by a rescue helicopter with life-saving instructions. So I had to trust these guys and walk towards the fire and, uh, and I'm glad I did because I would most certainly be dead given what happened in the hours that followed. Last week, Cloutier was on the cusp of completing a three-week solo trek in the majestic Cathedral Provincial Park in the Similkameen when he saw a massive plume of grey smoke, the aggressive Crater Creek fire burning towards him. I found this cloud rampaging up hill just a few hundred uh, meters from me, and right there and then, I knew I was in grave danger. Cloutier used his satellite phone to connect with park officials as he hunkered down for close to 30 hours waiting for rescue. Frankly, I, I'm not sure my heart can take it, but uh, with the love of God, uh, I will make it through. Okay, I think I hear a helicopter coming. Ron Burley was on the helicopter, trying to find Cloutier in smoky conditions and mountainous terrain. The original location we were given was not accurate. So we did spend some time searching for him at the location that we were given, and we could not find him. The job was made easier when Cloutier activated the SOS function on his sat phone to pinpoint his location. But with no place to land nearby, Burley dropped the note with instructions to head back on the trail towards the fire. And he wasn't really expecting to go that way, but he, he did follow the instructions and that, that was important as well. With exhaustion setting in, Cloutier hiked back through an area already burned. After a few kilometers, he reached Burley and another rescuer who guided him to where the helicopter had landed. It would have been a difficult situation for him alone up the valley with where that fire ended up going. Today, Cloutier is reflecting on the ordeal. He's grateful for the volunteers at Penticton Search and Rescue and says there's no doubt they saved his life. Absolutely, without a doubt. You know, the next day I was going to die in, in a raging fire and turn into uh, bacon for bears. There's, there's not a doubt in my mind. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Penticton.